Hey there, time for Que Pasa. This time we're a little bit above downtown El Paso. A beautiful view right here from the Sky Garden above the Plaza Theater. Meeting up with Ryan Limpets from Destination El Paso for the scoop on cool things happening this week in El Paso. Hey, nice to see you. Good to see you as well. You know what? I have been to the Plaza Theater, but I've never been up here before. The view is gorgeous. Yeah, welcome to the Alcantar Sky Garden. Beautiful views of El Paso. You can rent this space uh, for parties or weddings. Actually, one time I knew of a wedding up here, but I wasn't invited. Not going to name names. <laughs> what do we have going on this week? Well, there's a lot of, you know, summer music festivals that we've been talking about throughout the last couple of months, and a few of them are wrapping up if you haven't had a chance to see them. The first one is Friday at the Fire. This is at the Freedom Crossing Mall on Fort Bliss from 6 to 11. This week we have Crosstown Trio, and then wrapping up on the 19th, Jupiter's Junkies, and the 26th we have Kiki Mora. The State Line Music Festival also wraps up in August, Wednesdays from 8 to 10 at State Line Barbecue on Sunland Park. August 17th, Frontera Boogaloo, and August 24th, Mike Ryan. And then we have El Fresco Fridays continuing through the end of September. There's actually a lot going on at Freedom Crossing, right? Yeah, their big summer music concert series, Let Freedom Sing, has been going on this summer, and it ends this Saturday, August 13th. David Neal is the headliner. It's on the event lawn at Freedom Crossing. Brings out a lot of people. If you haven't had a chance to see it, this is your chance. Have you been on post lately? Yeah, and it's actually not that difficult to get on. And I would recommend for a big event, go a day early like today and grab your guest pass. They're good for 30 days. Okay, well, just because all the live music outdoors is ending, that doesn't mean there's nothing to do in El Paso. There's always plenty to do in El Paso. And starting next Friday, August 19th, all the way through October 1st, Friday and Saturday evenings at dusk, Movies in the Canyon at the McKelligan Canyon Amphitheater. We kick off the first weekend with Ferris Bueller's Day Off and 16 Candles, some great classics, now classics, I guess. <laughs> we put out a survey to our subscribers on ElPasoLive.com. We got to pick what movies they wanted, and they picked great movies like Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Jungle Book, and Labor Day Weekend, Selena and La Bamba on Friday and Saturday night. Two great movies. Say no more. All right, I'm there. Well, you mentioned that you can subscribe to ElPasoLive.com. How do you do that, and what would I get? Go to ElPasoLive.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and put in your email address to get our regular updates and newsletters, giving you special deals and offers to our shows. For instance, today, we announced that Bob Dylan is coming to El Paso to the Abraham Chavez Theater deal. October 19th. Only our El Paso Live subscribers can get tickets today. All right, you convince me. I'm going to go subscribe because I need some Bob Dylan tickets like right now. Well, great to see you. Good to see Take you. Take care.